Hey guys, it's Mark here. I am today going to attempt to retrofit my 2020 Model 3 Standard Rage Plus um, to be able to uh, use CCS charging. And uh, I've read a few of the uh, things in the online forums as well as watched a few videos. So I think I am ready to go. And um, I'm going to make my own video showing you guys my experience. And we'll see how this goes. And there's a few things we needed first. So, first thing you need is the hardest thing to get, which is the ECU Generation 4, um, which I'll leave a link to the website that sells that. Um, it's called A to Z EV Accessories. It's a um, somewhat local company out of Laval, Quebec. I'm just outside of Ottawa, so it's a couple hour drive, but you can just get it shipped. It took two days to get here, as well as the uh, wire harness. Some places refer to it as a bundle of wires, but it's really just a wiring harness. And um, let me try to open this here. I'm doing this with one hand, so bear with me. So that's what the new version looks like. The one before that, uh, it was just sh shrink-wrapped with the, uh, the black kind of rubber, but I guess this is the new one. But it's just basically a wire harness and a board. And um, so we need those two things are the main things that we're gonna need. Um, 10 millimeter socket wrench. I have a bunch of just little screwdrivers just in case I need to uh, take some of the old uh, connections apart so I'm not pulling on them. Uh, this is called a spudger and uh, this is another little prying tool. These are just stuff I've had from um, my phone repairing stuff that I've done. You know, I've changed my own screens and whatnot before and they're just little tools that are good at helping you get underneath the screen or take the back off. Got a couple zip ties in case I need them. And then just a couple other things, pliers or a needle nose, I guess, just in case I need them. Not sure if I will. Okay, so like every other video, if you go into your software, additional vehicle information, you'll see CCS adapter support not installed and I'm going to go into the safety menu and I'm going to power off the car first so let's power it off okay so when you open the front from what I'm pull this panel off which should come off that's just a bit, a bit of ice holding it I actually just went to the car wash so the 12 volt here I'm gonna have to uh, take off the uh, negative, which I'm gonna do. It's this one here you wanna take off here. And that'll allow this to come right off. And uh, I'm actually just gonna wrap this towel there around it so it can't make the connection and hold it in place. The bolt, I didn't even have to take the 10 mil off all the way, I'm just gonna leave it and uh, then we're gonna go around to the back of the vehicle. Well, actually the back seat. But first, so if you go into the back, there's uh, just one second, I better move my seat up, one sec. Worth mentioning that if you push any button, including opening the door, it actually turns back on the uh, screen. So I had to go to the safety menu and power it off again. Now, hopefully I'll be able to show you where this is. It's, uh, where is it? My hands are already freezing. There's two clips on each side. Just gotta find it. Okay, here it is here. Hopefully you can see that. This here. You push it to the left on this side. And I'm thinking opening this door again is going to turn me back on. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's so the same thing. It's a little clip. Where is it? Right there. Hopefully you can see that. And towards... You have to be careful because there's a couple wiring harnesses. OK, 
Okay, so this is what we're gonna take off here. But let's go back and power us back down. Okay, so backup power unavailable, so that's fine. Safety. Power off. Okay, I'm gonna pause and warm up my hands in a second here. First, I'll disconnect the high voltage battery. I've lifted up these seats and taken them off before. It's actually quite easy. Um, I did that because I put a seat cover on it, which you might be able to see. So there's the foam piece here. Okay. And then flick that down. Like that. Okay. This is a lot easier if I had another hand. Okay, that clunk. I'm gonna have to set the phone down. I can't do this with one hand. So I will say in all the other videos, I make it look super easy to just pull this right out, but it actually, it requires some firm strength to pull it out. So that's been pulled out now. And uh, so we're just gonna leave that as is. So now my car is completely powered down. Let's just double check everything. If I push on, Door handles, okay, no response. And then the trunk, no lights. So in my model, I have the trim at the top here, which some of the videos didn't have. So well, up here, I'm gonna have to take that off, that little clip. And there's also one on the passenger side, right there. And because it's about, I don't know, minus 15, I'm actually gonna get a hair dryer and warm them up just because it's, uh, I don't want them to break, they might be brittle. So I'm gonna do that uh, because it's really cold and I'll be back. The trick to these clips is to try and take the big, the sorry, the small part in the middle, get underneath that, pop that out, makes it a lot easier. Okay, I actually went inside and grabbed my little space heater. And uh, I grabbed that because it is so cold. Even though I had gloves on, I had to uh, go in and warm my hands because they are just freezing from this because it is so cold out. So the next thing I'm gonna do, hopefully I can do this for the gloves, is the trim here. Now that I pop those two off, I'm gonna carefully pull it down here. Okay. I may not even have to take it all the way off. Although, I probably, yeah, I'm just gonna try and leave that hanging. So next, the carpet. It's tucked underneath this gasket a little bit. So I'm just gonna uh, carefully pull this down. Okay, this actually comes off quite easily so far. Okay, so there's our uh, emergency um, release for the charge port. And this is our, our light. Um, would it be easier to disconnect? Possibly. We'll see. So I'm gonna set the phone down and basically what I'm gonna do is just keep rolling this down. Um, how does this come out? Okay, this probably just slides that way. So I'm gonna set the phone down, pause it, I imagine that's what it does. I definitely need two hands, and then I'm just gonna start um, rolling the carpet back until we get to the ECU, and uh, I'll be back when that's done. Okay, so I'm back earlier. I just used this little uh, screwdriver, the little flathead, and I just pushed it outward really easily. Oh, I'm not even showing it. I just pushed this that way, and it came off very easily. If you've ever changed the, uh, the lights um, for the, um, the door, the puddle lights, it's the same mechanism. Okay, so again, I'm gonna start rolling this carpet back to access the ECU, um, and then uh, I'll be back when I have it exposed. So I got the carpet rolled back a bit, and kind of pulled back, so here's the existing one. 
So as you can see, there's another 10 mil socket. So what I'm gonna do is take that out and I'm gonna slide the ECU, the existing one, towards the middle of the trunk to the right, disconnect it, and then I'll be back. Okay, so each one, you can just kind of squeeze in on it and then it kind of pulls out. So you gotta push that tab in, which is actually, when it's in here, it's actually on the top of it. And then, uh, so I'm gonna set the phone down and get that out, and then we'll work on this one. Okay, and as all the other tutorial videos indicated, this last one that goes on the right side is very challenging to get out. You gotta just keep pushing the tab here, this little guy in, and just wiggle it slowly but surely to get it out. So now, this is the old ECU, and then I have the new one. So now I'm going to uh, connect to the new one, and we're gonna be good to go. So I've connected my wire harness in here, and then I'm gonna just reverse what I just did in here, and I'll be back. Okay, that was so much easier. So I just connected it. You make sure your connections are good and tight. I'm gonna go ahead and put the 10 mil socket back to start. And then I'm going to uh, reconnect everything and uh, see what happens. All right, hopefully I can do this with one hand this time. So we're just gonna reconnect the high voltage battery. That is much easier. So that's connected. Okay. Okay, we'll push down. Oh, wait. Get the piece of foam back. And then we'll go up front. So I've just uh, connected the 12 volt again. And we will tighten her up. Okay, just good tight. Now, let's see what happens. Okay, so now it says incompatible drive system software detected. Scheduled service unable to drive until updated. Let's just put my profile in so I can get in here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this. Um, touch and hold model 3. Oop, touch and hold model 3. Okay. Password is service. Okay, hit OK. Enable. Whew, chilly. All right, so what we're going to do, software reinstall. All right, updating ECU. That's one thing I'd like to see. So we'll do this, and while it's updating, I'm going to put everything back to how it was, and we'll come back and check it out when we're done. Okay, so I'm back, and uh, I started this at 3.30, it's uh, 4.19, so uh, the updates didn't take long, so let's uh, exit service mode, I'll hold to exit, okay, don't have any errors, which is good, okay, just give me a second, I gotta warm up my hands here, they're absolutely freezing, okay, so I am back again, hands are warm enough so no errors it's reflash the software you don't have to download one you can just do it the way I did 
So now if we go into software, this is a moment of truth. Advanced additional vehicle info, CS, CCS adapter support enabled. So I am um, cold. So that took me about an hour, just under an hour to do. Uh, pretty easy. Um, skill level, that's like a I don't know, three out of 10. Really, really easy to do. The hardest part was taking out that third um, connector on the ECU, the existing one, by far. Like I was just being very, very careful, gentle, just wiggling it slowly. It definitely is in there good. And if I broke that, I would just be in a lot of trouble because um, the closest service center is uh, probably about 70 or 80 kilometers away, so I don't want to deal with that. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, a crappy tire and uh, with my cold battery. Yeah, we are cold. I'm going to go charge and try it out with the uh, A to Z uh, EV accessories uh, CCS adapter which is on sale for 200 bucks. Um, but if you get the whole package with the ECU, the wire harness and the adapter, it's about 500 or so, I think five or 600 bucks. Anyway, it's worth it. I imagine Tesla will probably charge. I would think when all is said and done, my guess would be between eight to a thousand dollars. Who knows? Anyway, I'll be back. We're gonna test out the uh, CCS charging next. Okay, so we've arrived at the charge station. My battery is still cold. I was uh, preconditioning it for maybe five minutes, but <laughs> that's not making a difference. It's pretty cold out. So what I'm gonna do is uh, let's uh, open up the frunk and we'll get our CCS adapter and uh, we'll uh, see if this works. So you connect your uh, CCS adapter to it. If you wanna lock it, you just slide this in and it goes right under there so that way I guess same as the uh, uh, J1772 locks squeezing on this will do nothing so we go over in here yeah, so I need more cable Okay, so I apologize for shaking around like that. It's just the way she goes. So I'll take my flow card, authenticating. So it detects it, doing its test. Probably tell me to do the start, press start. I don't expect I'm gonna get very quick speeds with the cold battery, but we'll see. And it's charging. That's awesome. All right, so I'm getting 33 right now, which I mean, considering I got a cold battery, it's cold out, didn't really precondition. And uh, earlier today, because uh, it was cold, and I wanted to make sure if something did go wrong with this process, I'd have enough juice to get to the service center, so I charged to 100 this morning. And uh, I'm actually gonna lower that back down to 90. There we go, that's a little bit better. Yeah, so, and then 29. But it is working, so that's awesome. This worked. Very happy with this, gives me a lot more options now. So, thanks for watching.